Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Gamma Strike Hulk figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Marvel Avengers line of products. I picked this up on sale at Target for $7.99. Now, initially, I really wasn't too interested in having this figure in my collection. However, during the recent sale at Target, I had the chance to study him more closely in the package, and I decided to purchase him at that point. Now, when I first got the Hulk out of the blister pack, my reaction was somewhat mixed. Uh, the facial features, notably the eyes and teeth, as well as his hair are nicely rendered, and it does look like a reasonable depiction of the Hulk as portrayed in the Avengers movie. The body of the figure is painted in a nice shade of green as well, and he does seem to be well balanced and stands okay on a level surface without the need of a figure stand. So let me pause here and zoom in and give you a closer look. Just a lot of good detail on this figure. Don't you think? Okay. Now I'm not too crazy about the color of the pants that Hasbro chose to use on this figure. The color looks okay, but I think I would have liked the pants to be colored in a more bluish gray scheme like what was used in the movie. He also seems to be a bit out of scale with his other Avenger counterparts, as I'm used to seeing Hulk being portrayed in both the comics and the films as being a bit taller and somewhat bulkier. Now, Gamma Strike Hulk didn't come with any accessories. However, he does have an action feature. So let me pause here and I'll try to demonstrate uh, what that looks like. See, just like that. Okay. You'll notice uh, that both of his arms move simultaneously, and when they reach a certain point, they'll jolt down, hence the name Gamma Strike. The arms are also independently movable, but uh, when you do that, it makes a clicking sound which can be somewhat distracting and annoying. And unfortunately, the action feature on my figure doesn't seem to work all the time, and it does have a tendency to get stuck. All right, what I'll do now is a quick 360 of the figure and let you see what he looks like from all sides. The figure stand that I have him standing on did not come with the figure and is being used for the purposes of the review and was purchased from uh, smalljoes.com. Okay. So overall, um, I, I think this figure is, is just okay. The body sculpt and the facial features look good, but uh, the action feature not working like it's supposed to all the time, uh, that does create a big minus for me. I also think he should have been taller and a bit more bulkier like he was portrayed in the Avengers movie. So therefore, I, I, I really can't totally recommend this figure unless you plan to use him as a display piece for your uh, movie Avenger Squad or your completist out to complete the Avengers toy line. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.